quick video for uh, Terry Pappas. Apply power to the Viking View. Hold the uh, dim button. It's going to dim it. But then just keep holding it for about 10 seconds. It'll suddenly be undimmed again. Right there. Goes into a regular EIS mode. It's out of Viking View now. Hold the two left buttons for together and you're in the menu. Uh, this is up, down, and next. So they correspond to these buttons now. So next contrast, we don't want to do anything with, but if we did, we could change it. The contrast. And uh, but we're gonna leave that on two. Fuel, we're not gonna do anything with that. Leave that. Timer, nothing. Oil pressure, uh, the new setting is 99, so if you don't have it at 99, use your up and down buttons for that. Minimum oil pressure, uh, we set that at 40 now. That's been lowered a little bit, so it doesn't flash inadvertently. All the temperatures now are 240. Oil temperature is max 40, 240. Uh, RPM has been raised to 6400. Um, the RPM to 6400, by the way, is with the new flywheel, which everybody's going to... We're going to have a, a recall on that for everyone to update. Uh, amperage set that to zero so that the amp meter um, will not cause an error. Uh, the maximum amperage. Minimum amperage set it to zero as well. Max fuel pressure. Uh, these are different in this particular plane, so let's skip that. Voltage should be at 15 max, minimum 13. Coolant temperature 240. Gearbox 240, CHT we don't have, and display we don't use. Hit again, and we're back. So now when we power off, as the instrument comes on, it's going to start flashing. Uh, we have uh, no oil pressure, so that's flashing. We acknowledge that. And it's not going to flash on fuel pressure, and it's going to flash on low vol voltage. We can acknowledge, acknowledge these if we want, or we can just start the engine, and uh, these things will go out. Now that's how that's done.